Uh-huh. Wow. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby. Yes, love. Take a straw. Huh? What's going on here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Enjoy yourself, my king. <laughs> so that my beer is over here. Alright. So, baby. Yes, love. Walk around for that. Oh, that's my best. Let them see my asset. Hey, oh. guys. I'll get there. I'll get there. Hi, Pete. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I caught him staring at my ass. That yellow one. You caught? Yeah, he was staring at me. You were? Oh, right. Is this how you are? I even thought he winked what at me. You are staring at my baby's ass. You know he didn't do that. Wait. Yeah. Of all the places to look. Yes. You're going to leave this house. Yes, because this one you're already looking at the ass and I'm here. What will happen if I'm not around? You leave, you pack up. Let's not go. Ignore him, baby. Uh -huh. Ignore him. So baby. Let me walk around so they'll see me. I again. You know what I want to say? Let me not marry him, boy. Hi, guys. Take another step. Hi, another guys. Step. Another step. Another step. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, they pack, they pack, they pack, they pack. Okay, darling. Good. So, that's my box, you know. I love you so much. Mm -hmm. So, look around you. Who are they? My family. Here's my stepmother. Here's my stepbrother. Here's my stepsister. So if you listen very well, if you you see that none of them is really my family. They're all step, 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 steps, which means you're free to step on any of them. Oh, Nothing will happen. I love that. Good. So, step family. This is beautiful Vanessa. But I call her heaven sent because she was sent from heaven to nullify me. Mm -hmm. Mwah. My heaven sent. She's my, she's my, oh my God, I'm getting so emotional. I'm gonna hold you right there. <laughs> so baby. Yes, love. My family. Wink. Hi, guys. Aha. Uh -huh. Hi, guys. Yeah. Family, this is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. So I brought her home so that you can meet her she can make your people. Good. Without wasting much time, we need to go upstairs and start making babies. Definitely, because no, this is my new home now. Of course. Mm. Give it to me. Mm. Oh. Give it to me. Mm. Give it to me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, home. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, Oh, I'm coming, baby! I'm coming to you, baby! <laughs> oh. Guys, Max. I used to the woman I want to settle down with. The woman you were staring at her ass. Beautiful, ain't you? Without wasting time, like I said earlier, we need to start making babies. Baby! Ah! 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 Mm. No, I'm not no. I don't understand what you are saying. I've been asking for this money for quite some time now. And you are not coming forth and giving me this money. What is going on? You don't want to give me the money or what? Am I no longer your brother? Honestly, I'm not going to give you another money until you give me an account of what you've been doing with all the money I've been giving to you. Unless that, nothing is coming out from me again. Isn't it? It's your account. 
you want me to render account to you of how I'll be using money you gave to me? No, I don't understand. You mean that if I buy Gary my house, I should write it down and keep for you to see? If my wife keeps you in the house, I will write it down. If I make any expenses, I will write it down and bring for you, for you to be able to give me another money. Is that what you're saying, Ezendo? Odifer, this whole thing is simple. You are raising your voice up. I said I need a balance sheet of all the money I've been giving to you for the past 10 years. Balance sheet of what? Of the money. Hey, business, he be the room. That is what you're asking for balance sheet. Yes, uh, uh, I forgot where I hmm. Him. I didn't chase him away. I only asked him to give me a balance sheet of all the money I've been sending to him. What did he do? He checked it out. Should I have held his hands? He's a grown up for crying out loud. And no matter what, he's still a younger brother. Leave the fact that he's fat the way he is. He's still a baby. He's a younger brother. You know, he felt offended when you refused to give him the money because you're not making it sound as if anything he wants money must give you a reason. Look at what you're saying. You should give me a balance sheet. Do you give me a balance sheet of the way you spend the money? This is my money we're talking about. It is our money I'm talking about. And then, of course, you know, you're my witness. How many times I've asked him to come to the city to fix him somewhere. What did he do? He declined several. And he is already used to village life. He's used to it. Even though there's nothing in the village, he prefers to live his life every day in the village. What's my business then? What's my business if he's feeling offended or not? I don't want us to talk about this or the face issues. It's a forgotten alternative for me. All I want is just lower your head on the bed. Let me feel the warmth of your hands on my chamber. That's all. That's the only thing you know these days. Even if somebody's dying, use your wand and touch my chamber. That's the only thing you know. Daniel, let me lie down and sleep. That's what I want. Now, what is the matter? What is it? You don't even touch your food, or has the cooking become so so bad that it even make you hungry? Did I tell you that I want to eat? Did I request any food from you? Huh? Is it by force to eat food? L listen, Monica, what I'm thinking is even greater than your food. So just don't disturb me. Sorry if I've said anything to offend you, but. <sighs> Monica, yeah? what hungry me this afternoon is bread at the banana. And that's what I'm eating. Why can't you make do with that? I am pitying you because you've not eaten anything all day. And you need to eat something oily, Maka. All by force. The oil in my body is greater than the one in your body. Maka, Opo. Opo. Mm. So, brother. 
Il y a des tomes. Donc, il tarde. Please be on to this house. Hey! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been good. So, how have you been? I'm just there. Oh, I am just there. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, um, is your husband in? I came to see him. No, he went out. Hope all is well. No, there's no problem. I know he came to the house asking my husband for some money. But he didn't get it, so I decided to bring the money for him. Yeah. No wonder he came back. He refused to eat his food. Oh, let's give hey. it to him. Chai, that was so. That was so. I'm just trying to make a lodge. Just cook anything. What do no I offer you? I'm fine. I'm fine. No hungry. Yeah. Such a nice person. Thank you. <laughs> How are the children? Everybody's fine. Chai. Thank you. That was so. I'll be on my way. Please tell your husband not to be angry. She'll I be with his brother. I Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 But I will give you the blueprint. Well, that's not a problem. When I come to the office, we streamline. It's as simple as that. Okay. Oh, it's no problem. All right, then. When I come to the office, I appreciate it. Darling, I went to the village. What for? To see your brother. Wait a minute. You went to the village to see my brother. Is he sick or what? No, he's not sick. It's just that I wasn't comfortable. He wasn't able to get the help he came to ask you for. So I took some money to him in the village. What? You went behind me to the village and you gave my brother some money? That's what I'm telling you now. What difference does it make? You think you know my brother better than I do? Or you think he will clap for you and then, then you know, take you to be a nice person because you have given him money? No. Is that as if I did it for him to praise me or to acknowledge me to be a nice person? No. I felt it was the right thing to do. What you felt? So what did he do afterward? Does she think she is? What is her problem? I asked my brother for money, he refused, and she's bringing the money to me. Why? Why would she do that? She said you shouldn't be offended and be with your brother. No, oh, she, she thinks she's wise. I am wiser than her. I know what she's trying to do. Yes, I asked my brother for money. She's the one who always advises me what to do. She's the one controlling the though. She's coming back from the back to come and claim as if she's a saint. Rubbish. That woman is not like that. She's a My friend, shut up and say what you know. I am the one who goes there. I know what I see whenever I come there. She'll be doing muchi 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 at the back. Thinking that I don't see what is happening there. Okay, Rubbish. So okay, you don't want the money. I should use it and buy for stuff and other things. Emro, Emro, Kwaya. Come on, give me the money. Give me the money. No, no, not to leave for stuff. No, you will buy the whole market with it. No. I'm going to return this money to her. Eh? Yes, she has no right to bring money to me. I will return it. And I will want her not, never to try such again. Go inside. Go inside. Have you removed the start of it? 
Did you remove anything out of it? Did you remove anything out of it? I will count it and I will ask her how much I said. No, don't worry when I return it to her. Go inside. Who are you doing behind that food? What sort of rubbish is that? What is her problem? Madame Gifto. Hey! You've told me to! I am! Udo, I'm sorry, Papa! Hey! Kevin! Sit down! But I gift! How far now? Go and get me a cheap bottle of fearless! Fearless? Yes, that's what I want to say. Go, 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 do quick! I'm coming! I'll be back in a minute! Hey! Hey, wait! Why are you not here? Hey! I got the Aquinca! We are calm! Hey! Or oh, didn't say, or oh, didn't say. Mm. You know why I like your drink. Your drink, drink is always chilled. Very chilled. Mm. <laughs> Very chilled. Hi. Hi. Very chilled. Hi. There's something I want to discuss. Odife. Odife. Mm. Please, if it is about credit, I'm not going to give you credit today. What is your problem? It don't work. Oh. I have money to pay for all my credit. Uh, I'm not talking about credit. I'm talking of something that is going to change the life of us, our lives. Uh, what is it? It's about my brother. I'm listening. It's about my brother, Ezendo. Which of your brother? Ezendo. Ezendo now, do I have two brothers? If it is about Ezendo you are saying, I don't want to hear about Ezendo because the man left me in this village, abandoned me in this village. I don't want to hear about him, please. And I give to listen. Ezendo now is a big man. He's a rich man. Ezendo has properties everywhere. He has landed properties. I thought he's married. Forget about marriage. What I'm giving you is the key to change your lives. Come. Will it work like that? My friend, trust me, it will work. It has worked already. <sighs> yes, but on one condition. Which is? When you go back to him, you must make sure you get some of his landed properties for me and put them in my name. Yes. If that's, there's no problem now. I will do exactly what you said. <laughs> for that, eh? You see this drink? You will not pay for it again. All the bill will be on my head. If not, too. I trust you. I know what you can do. I am here with your son. His name is Obiora. You still haven't answered my question. What exactly are you doing here? Is that how you welcome the woman you claim to love? Eh? Listen. What you and I had was in the past. I am happily married. I have moved on so you must. You left me in the village. You came back to this city, you made money, and you abandoned me. I came back with your son. What do you mean? I told you exactly what she meant. So this is who you are. This is how you are. You know, Rich. You forgot my mother. Abandoned us in the village. Because of who? So much from my father. So much. What do you mean by this? 
Let me refresh your memory. Sissy, si, just stay away from me. I'm not in the mood. Stay away from me. What did I do wrong? Did I offend you? What didn't you do wrong? What didn't you do wrong? Oh, I think I didn't see you. I saw you. I saw you and Chuka. He was gisting with you. You were laughing. He was even kissing you and caressing you. That's not true. Me and Chuka, we are just friends. And we were playing and that's it. There's nothing more. You and Chuka, are just friends. We're just friends. There's nothing attached to Why would you keep a friend? Why? Oh, name me bestie. See, I don't want to see you anywhere close to Chuka anymore. I don't like that guy. Stay away from him. That is if you value what we share. Stay away from him. Okay, it's fine. Eh? You make these people feel that you're single. You're my woman. Oh, all your attention should be towards me and not anybody else. Not even Chuka. It's fine. I promise I won't be with Chuka again. I won't talk to Chuka again. In fact, I will stay miles away from Chuka. Hope you're better now. That's the language I want to hear. It really got me upset. I'm huh? sorry. I'm sorry I yelled at you, but I can't risk losing you. I know. I love you so much. I love you too. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's actually getting late. I think I need to go home now so I can pack my things. You know I'm traveling tomorrow with Chivamadi to the city. Oh, come on, don't be like this now. Huh? Then I'll be alone in this village. <laughs> I see someone is jealous. Oh, come on. You don't have to say that. You know I will never leave you for anybody. Are you sure? Not even those city girls. I will come back for you. Can we get party go now? Let me just go and make some money. So um, I can come back and then marry you and then we we'll live happily ever after. Promise me that you won't leave me for those city girls. On my honor, I will never leave you. I cherish what we share in common and I cannot trade it for anything in this world. I love you so much. Okay. So give me that smile on your face. That's more like it. <laughs> mm, I have a suggestion. Mm. What since, could that be? Okay. Since today is going to be the last day we're going to be spending time together, why not spend it at my place? So I'm going to show you what you're going to miss. Mm. You get it. Mm. <laughs> yes. I, I, I love, I like the sound of that. You like it? Yes, Endo. Yes, Endo. Yes, Endo. You're welcome. Okay. Your mother has been waiting for you since morning. Jivadi. And the papa seems to come and look for you. Hey! Ivo! He's very angry. Jivadi! Ivo! I have a trip to make. Let's go, let's go. Hey! The trip comes for two hours. Let's go, let's go, let's go. After you left, without saying goodbye, I discovered I was pregnant. I waited and waited, but you never came back. This is the result of the pregnancy. So much for my father. Welcome home, my son. Let's go. Chief, can you tell me what is going on there? 
And I am so Explain sorry. Explain everything to me, one after the other. It, ha it happened. I'm so sorry. That's all I can say. I didn't ask for your apology. I asked you to explain everything that happened. What I had in there, is it true? Uh, unfortunately, it, it, it would seem so. I, I, I had an affair with her long ago before I met her. But, but, but it's not exactly to this extent. God. I don't want you to cry, okay? You know, I hate to see you cry. Why didn't you tell me about this all this while? Why do you have to wait until it has turned topsy turvy? I, I, Why the bubble has boss, you know, explaining? Why didn't you tell me earlier on? How am I to know? I, I, I have not heard from her or even seen her since I left the village to the city. You and I know that I really go to the village. It's okay. I, I don't want you to cry, okay? Please. I'll, I'll fix this. Trust me. I'll fix it. Let's, let's go inside. Heard what you said. You and your son can stay for the night. Tomorrow we we'll talk. Just for the night? I don't understand. I brought your son to stay with you, not just for the night. I said we will talk tomorrow. You'll be shown your rooms. I mean, I will not stay for the night. I will call my daughter. She's going to show you your rooms. You can shower and rest. We'll let you know when food is ready. Food? Food? You think that's how we're here? Food? Tell your daughter to show us our own. Anybody to intimidate you. Do you understand what I am saying? I am here now. Don't worry. We'll get everything right. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the meaning of this now? What kind of nonsense is this? Why will both of you finish your whole food in the house? Yeah. Don't to cry. Sorry, huh? So food can actually make you behave like a dog. What? Whoa, 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 Because of that small food, my, my mother and I, uh, that's what you're What saying. are you calling small food? Food that was made for the whole house? Are, are you a pig? No, I don't understand. What kind of stomach do you have? Did you just hear what this boy called me? Listen to me, young man. I will not have you to insult my son because of ordinary food. If your mother didn't raise you properly, I will help her do so. This is your elder brother. Don't tell me it that. It's just a respect. Don't tell me that. 
What kind of other brother is that? Don't tell me that. I, is, is he a pig? Because only pigs eat without satisfaction. I, I, don't, I don't like this. I see. Calling me a pig who put food in your stomach. Go ahead. Call me that one more time. What? If calling me a pig will put food in your stomach. Shoot. Go ahead. Call me pig one more time. Big pig. The reason I called all of you here is because I know how many times I tossed all the night and I'm um, thinking about my past mistakes, how to make amends. And I came to conclusion with myself that I have not treated you and your son fairly. <laughs> Thank God you know. Will you allow me to finish? In respect to that, I am willing to take Obiora as my son, but you and Obiora will not be in this house. I will take Obiora somewhere else, perhaps one of my properties in the town, and make sure he lacks nothing. And in my own magnanimity, I have accepted to include him in my will. No. As it were. No. Why not? No, Ezendo. That will not going to happen. Excuse me. Why not? Don't get me wrong. Girl. I am not here to live with a woman who shouldn't have been here if you did not betray me in the first place. But that aside, my son has not been staying with his father for many years. Now that he's supposed to stay with you, you want to push him out. That will never happen. It doesn't mean he'll be neglected. He is free to come to this house anytime, visit. Also to... Who asks for your opinion, madam? Who asks for your opinion? It's my son we are talking about here. You saw son not living here with him? I'm asking you, is your son not living here with him? You just want to push my son out so that you will manipulate him. Uh, that can never be done. Uh, I said no. He will stay here with you, people. He will stay here with you. Give. My dad, do you hear me? Give. My son is not going out from here. Show my wife some respect. Why are you being difficult? <sighs> Show my wife some respect. Oh. Oh. Patricia. <laughs> Gift, why are you being difficult? I am not being difficult. I just want you to take your son and take good care of him. You see, I've been paying attention to all you've been saying, Father. First of all, you said that you are willing to accept me as your son. I, in your words, I am willing to accept. That's what you said to your son. <sighs> your first son. You're willing to accept me. Mm. You're not supposed to be willing. You're supposed to own me. I'm your responsibility. Your first responsibility. Just in case you forgot it so soon. That brings us to number two. You said that I, Obiora, the heir to everything that you have here, to go to one of your properties. Hmm. Yeah. Father, you see, um, when you say some certain things, uh, I believe you're an older person. You try as much as you can to listen to yourself. And that brings me quickly to you. He can just come and visit. Shut the trap! You call, yes, don't, don't even go there. You're, you're talking to my mother that I can come visit. Perhaps you should, you, are, you can also pack your things to your mother's house and come visit whenever you want. Whenever you please. I mean, it's your husband's house. That brings me to the last one. You look at me, father. Your abandoned son. And then you said, you will include me in your will. <laughs> Point of correction. I, Obiora, should own most of the properties that you have. And that is what you should include in your will. 
See, the three things you analyzed is still referring to me as an outcast. I'm not an outcast. This is my father's house. I will be treated like every other children. It's being treated. Do you understand me? I believe we've communicated, we've all made sense. That brings us to the conclusion of this meeting. Father, wife. Avoid me. I don't know how she got my home address. I was about leaving when she showed up or whatever. I don't understand. Why did she choose now to bring the boy after all these years? I wonder. How am I even sure that that boy is my son? No, 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 Nelson, no, don't go there. Back then in the village, everybody knew about you and their modern gift. Yes. If you remember a day before you traveled, you slept in my place. I was the one who came to call you. I know all the fair. Back then in the village, I had this feeling that she was seeing someone else behind me. Hmm. I don't think that is possible. If it is possible, by now, you would have married or even have more children. But instead that one son, one child. I think you're so right. How, how do you miss that? But what do I do? What do I do? I don't want my wife to feel bad about this whole thing. She has already started, you know, being uncomfortable. It's just that she's just maintaining her calmness because she quite understood that the child came before I met her. Even Even an audience, that boy is still your boy. It's your son. You are blood. Don't allow people to start feeling as if you are showing favorism over your children. Bring that boy in. Let him start adapting with your children. Thereby he will feel like he's one of you. Yes. You think so? I might be your younger brother, but you should not forget that I have experience in things like this. I have decided to take Obiora in as my son. After all, he's my son, like you said. But I don't want you as a wife. You're going back to the village. Ezendo. Ezendo. The serious Ezendo I knew back then. You haven't changed. Meaning? Come on. Don't tell me that you find that woman more attractive than me. What do you think you are doing? What's the meaning of this? You know, I never stopped loving and thinking about you all these years. You and I can still be together. I wouldn't mind to be your second wife just for you. Come on, get your hands off me. Now, let me tell you, that ship has hit the rock. I am happily married. I don't want to take another wife. Tomorrow, you pack your luggage and go back to the village. I hope this is clear.
What is it? Can't you see I'm seeing this movie? Well, it's time for me to watch my own program. What is wrong with you? You have a television inside your room, so go there and see your own program. I like to watch it here. Obira, this is so unfair. You're such a bully. Wait, what did you just call me? I called you a bully. Because you are a man, you can intimidate anybody you like, right? Very stupid. You think I'm your brother? That tolerates every nonsense from you. The next time you disregard me, I'll do something to you that whenever you see me, you take a different dimension. Stupid girl. do to you that made you slap her. Now I want to know exactly what she did to you. Did she insult you or what? What did the former do to you that made you slap her? Yeah, woman. Is there no informer behind you beside you? Huh? Is there no informer beside you? Ask her now. I couldn't have. Because you feel I don't have power to punch your mouth. <laughs> hey, mom. Hello. Um, what's going on? Why are you all like this? Oh, well, I slapped you for me. Oh, well, I did what? Yes. I just came back from my friend's place. You know, Katie now that uh, is planning for her daughter's uh, wedding. I just came in. Went upstairs only to meet if I'm crying that Obiora slapped her. Obiora did watching what? TV. How? If I'm what happened? Uh, I was watching my program. He now came and changed the channel. I, I asked him to go to his room and see whatever he wants to watch. That he should just leave me alone. He now said that I should walk out. I should walk away. And now. I now called him a bully. I now told him that he likes bullying people, that he's a bully. He now said for me calling him a bully, he now slapped me. Obira, why in God's name will you slap my sister? My only sister! Why? Obira, are you, are you mad? I'm talking to you and you see you're eating, eating biscuits. Eh? Why will you slap my sister? You fucking think I'm joking, eh? Obira, you think I'm fucking joking, right? Don't beat him like that. Huh? I'm joking, though. Why did you slap my sister, Obira? I didn't say you should fight him. No, no, no. 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 Are you mad? Are you mad? How dare you slap my sister? No. I don't think I'm going to break you. Press that back. Press what? What, 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 do you, what do you mean by that? It's okay for weapon. What's yes. weapon? Eh? Why don't you face me like a man? No. Mommy, run. Okay. Run! What the hell is the meaning of that? What do you mean by what the hell is the meaning? Why, why, why are you hitting my car like that? Why did I hit your car like that?
Point of correction, it is not your car. Everything father owns belongs to me as the first child. Do you understand that? <laughs> Bro, you know you're actually talented. You should be a stand-up comedian. I mean, you're wasting your time with all of this. You should start a show or something. But you know what? I do not have time for any of your jokes right now. So I want you to get the fuck out of the way. Oh, I'm going to run you over. Good. It's the run over. What are you waiting for? Run me over. Obira. Can I have my car keys? I am warning you for the last time. Get off my way. Because I swear to God, I'm going to run you over. Right now. Very good at words, my brother. Action is my better. Run me over. Run me over. Oh, you think I'm joking? Oh! Fucking think I'm joking! You have started the war. Yeah! You have started the war. Yeah, what the hell you want? You have started the war. What war. you gonna do about that? Okay. I said bring it up. Okay. You want some fight? Okay. Bring it up, bro. No, don't worry. Come on, bring it up. This is me. What you got? Bring, bring it up, bro. What you got? Fuck you, Fuck bring you. it up, bro. What? What? Yo, 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 yo. Yo. What the hell was that? Trust me, I don't even know. Yo, what the hell is that called? Man, you dumb. You're stupid. <sighs> Yo, give me back my kid. No, no. No, 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 I'm giving you no key. Give me back my fucking No, 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 no. Give me back my fucking No. If you people want me to die before my time, give me prior notice. What's the matter with you? What's the crime to father men like you as sons? What is it that you cannot sort yourself out of it instead of fighting and trying to kill one another? I'm sorry, Dad. I'm truly sorry. It was Obiora. I was about going out to see my friend before he came out from nowhere, blocked my car, and asked me to calm down and hand over the car key to him. A car I've been using before he came into this house. How? Father, did you hear what this stupid fool said? First, he addressed me as Obiora. That's an insult. What was I supposed to address? Would you shut up your mouth? I'm still talking. Hey, Mobile, are you my life? Have you seen another insult? You don't talk when I'm talking to my father. You pay attention, Imulanya. He called me Obiora. That's an insult. That on this boy, Tofea, Tofe, Tosaya, Tosa. You're supposed to accord me things like senior, uncle, elder brother, nam. Those are things you're supposed to add when you're calling me, when you're talking to me. Secondly, when you was going now, before I collected the car, is it your car? Are you out of your mind? I'm supposed to choose before you. I'm supposed to do anything. I'm supposed to tell you what to do. Father, this, 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 these are things I've been tolerating from your other family. Will you shut up? What do you mean by my other family? It is what it is. They're your other family. They don't see me as one of them. I don't see myself as one of them. They see me as an outcast. I see them as fools. At your addendum fools. That's how I see them. You have to respect me, Obiora. Father, I have so much respect for you. I love you. More than these wayward people. Father, I have been tolerating a lot in this house when you're not around. Just to make peace. But this Togolese big fool will never stop biting more than he can chew. Father, did you hear what you just called me? Did you hear what you, he, he, he just called me? A Togolese big headed fool. Oh, I made a mistake. Togolese bigger, biggest headed fool. Lord, that's what you are. Call me that again. No, call me that. Will you shut up? Shut up! What I said? Hey, no, no, shut up! Shut up! Sit down! I said, sit down! Big headed fool. Father. You have to show me some respect, Obi. I'll show you beyond respect. Why are you preempting issues I'm trying to solve? I'm just trying to watch over you. I don't know where this boy is from. Look at me in the eyes, father. Look at us. Share the same complexion, same eyes. 
same reading, same everything? Do me a favor. Where did you fetch this Togolese big headed fool? She understand that this is just a, a problem that just, you know, came up. It's something that cropped up. It's not intentional. It's a, a mistake from the past. And this mistake is costing us a lot. Our family used to be very peaceful. Now it's from one problem to the other. Chief Volalia Nano. What is meaning for that boy is to break bottle or not on somebody's head in this house? Oh, sweetheart. You have to understand that this guy is just, you know, acting based on the, the background he grew up with. He, he's mm -hmm. just acting within the range of his uh, environment. He was brought up in the village and everything about him is just, you know, the way the village people behave. Eh? So you will not call him to order? Simply because he was raised in the village. He was raised rough. So he, when he kills somebody, he's raised in the village. Come on. If he kills me, he's raised in the village. That's not what I'm no saying. problem. That's not the point. So I'm be making. it. So what other point are you making? What I'm saying is that this is just a man. He's a grown up, right? If he doesn't accept to change, you know, have a positive attitude and change, then there is little I can do. Since you want it like that, I don't have any issues with what you said, but I don't want to be part of his truancy. Warn him, advise him to stay away from my children and I. We don't want to have anything to do with him. Okay. After all, your life is complete now. No, it's not. You have a new woman that you're in love with. You have a son. So your life and your family no, no, complete. Why you standing, with it. Why are you standing this way? This is not, I just, just want you don't to... Don't you dare touch me. Don't touch me! You are becoming so irrational. Well, if I were the person that did it, would you forgive? I'm irrational now because it's you. You did it. I need money. Is this a new form of greeting? Oh, my bad. Good morning. I need some money. What for? What do you mean, what for? How can you ask an adult what he needs money for? I need money for myself. What do you want to spend the money for? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, it has to be my turn. You've been giving the rest of your kids money. Don't you give them money? Do you understand what they do with money? And when it comes to my turn, then you ask me what I do with money. No, I want to... I want, I want to, 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 to be spraying it. Give me money. Don't be answering billionaire for, 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 for nothing. I go out there, people tell my father is a billionaire. Look at how I'm dressed. Look how I'm dressed. Give me money. I need money. Obi, are you making a reference to other my children? Wachi works for the money he earns. Right? They are not uh, a spendthrift like you are. What do you do? You are an alcoholic? You are eating narcotics, you are into clubbing, always gambling, always womanizing, and coming back for my money. That is not true, father. It's not true. Yes, I drink sometimes, but it's for merriment. I'm happy that my father is a billionaire. What can I celebrate? Can I celebrate you while you're still alive? I know my money. No, I... If you ever need money for gun drinking, you work for it. Oh, please, father. Don't tell me that, please. Why do I have to work? Give me a reason I should work. You missed. Uh, you, you, why should I walk? When you have everything to give to me. Give me the money. Let, let's have peace in this house. I'll celebrate you. My father's a billionaire. And I ask for the womanizing part. I'm, I, don't, I don't chase women. I move around on my own. Women keep chasing me. It's not my fault that I'm tall, dark, and handsome. Oh. Whose fault? Oh, so, so, so sorry about that. You think I'll be here forever? To be always giving me money? Ah. My pleasure. I am not immortal. Good. Best for me. If you die now, oh my goodness, you just did me a major favor. 
Because everything you own belongs to me. I'm the first child. I'm sure I'm going to inherit everything you have. So what are we, what, what are we not talking? You want to die? Go ahead, please. Just give me the money. Tell me yeah. you're so, 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 so. Are you threatening me? I don't know. Call it whatever you want. Give me the money and save all this, uh, all this plenty talks. Obiora, just like your father rightly said, if you must use this money you're talking about, earn it. You don't earn money and you want money. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Uibo, Uibo, stay out of this. Stay out of this. It's not your business. This is father and son conversation. How, how, how does it concern you? Are you the owner of the money? Do you have signature to the money? So what's your problem? Oh, be right. Mind your best. Uh -huh. You don't have to respect my wife. You hear me? Does she respect herself? Does she respect herself? What I say, does it concern her? This is father and son communication, father and son relationship, father and son talk. It's got nothing to do with nothing to do with her. Can I have money now? Because if you don't, I'll do something everybody will regret. Try me. What's all this? My father is a billionaire, and yet I'll be asking for money. Why are you a billionaire? Why? Oh, Omelara, you do for people. You won't do for, 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 your, for, your, for your son. Who'll be alright? Yes? Who'll be alright? Sir? That's what you do. You must sir. Don't, don't tell me, Obiora. I keep walking around. People refer to me as the son of a billionaire. How is this showing? How is this showing? Look at my, look at the shirt I'm wearing. And you're a billionaire. Look at my slippers. And you're a billionaire. Look at it. Just look at me. I'm a, and you're a billionaire. Oh, man, all right, you do for people out there. You don't even bring the same. You don't bring it home. Give me money. You don't understand. Never wait about. Never wait about. Never ever. Give me money. And save me. Ah! You don't need a mouth. What's all this? Give me money. Give him the money. I will not this. give him my hard earned money. If he needs money, he must work for it. He needs a lot of growing up to do and need to talk to his mother and she did a very bad job raising him up. It, this well, very soon I will show this boy that the gentleness of a lion is not cowardice. I will show him that side of me. Very soon. The money he's looking for is more. Compared to what you have. Just give him so that we can have peace. Stay out of this. He's telling me stay out. You two, you're telling me stay out. Can't you see the total content of this boy is out of this space? Don't you see how he behaves? I don't know what else you want to do. I mean, I want you to handle it with wisdom. My money is not for cowards like him. Isn't my darling? What a lovely surprise. You came to see me. Oh my God. Come, let me get something to drink. That won't be necessary. I'm not here for that. Oh, you sound so unhappy. What is the problem? Come, let me get something to drink. Chill something to drink. Gift, I am here to warn you to talk to your son. Let him change. If he doesn't have a positive attitudinal change, I am going to disown him and damn the consequences. Since that boy came to my house, he has become a hypertension personified. And I'm not comfortable with that. Want him to change. It's your duty to warn yourself. That's all I have to say. Listen, to come. let's talk things over now. Who is, Who is talking things over with you? Me? Talk things over with you? I have some hot soup for you. This one you are in the village to see me. I hope there's no problem. All is not well or different. I am here to see you because you are the architect of the problems I am facing right now. How? What did I do? How am I the architect of your problem? What have I done? Oh, different. You are the one who advised me to accept the soul gift came back with. And since I followed your advice, that boy has become a cog in the wheel of my progress. He has become my nightmare. I've been having sleepless nights because of this boy. Ezendo, how is that my problem? The young man in question is your son. 
I advise you to accept your son. How has that become a problem? Am I the one who did not treat me well? Or am I, am I the one who abandoned him in the village to become a riffraff? Why are you blaming me now? Is this all you have to say? No, tell me what you want me to say. Ezendo, that young one is your son. Take him home and train him to be responsible. Don't come here blaming him for me for his bad luck or his bad behaviors. I'm not responsible. Take him home, train him. Let him be responsible. You have abandoned him for long. I know what to do. Uh, whatever you are going to do, let me warn you. Don't do anything that you are going to regret. That boy is your blood. Blood is thicker than water. So be careful. Odive weti you stand to gain o. Oga weti be a problem. But look at no wire. Lazy how you can't do one now. I'm on. As a brother boy, I was coming to tell him that food is ready. Did he ask you for food? Did my brother ask you for food, woman? What is your problem? Okay, I should get you the food. Eat it yourself. Gift. What is wrong with your son? What is his problem? Is he trying to ruin everything that we have planned? Listen, SN visited me today and he's complained of your son's bad attitude. What is his problem? SN visited me earlier today, too. I intend to go and then talk sense into that my son's head. You better go and do that. Listen, if he does this now, they to throw him out of that house. We will go back to square one. God forbid. And I will not allow that to happen. God forbid that will not happen. I will make sure Obiora does not forget why he is in that house. Listen, listen. Go to him and talk to him. Talk sense into him. I will. Hey, go and talk to him. Uh -uh. Are you just going like that? Uh -huh. Come and sit down. Let me give you your favorite pepper soup and a bottle of beer. What are you doing? Ah, this woman. You know where to touch me. You know where to touch me. You know where. Just who, who sit down. No sit down. Let me bring your favorite bowl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Hi. Chief, what's going on? You're not looking cheerful at all. I've never seen you look this pale in a long while. What is the problem? Barrister, Chief, I've been having a series of sleepless nights because of a problem I'm facing in my house. Problem? What kind of problem? Remember that estranged boy I told you about? Mm, yes, yes. The one you had with uh, your long lost lover? That boy has become a colossal pain in my heart. I'm not comfortable. Same son, you altered your will to accommodate him as one of those who have the higher share of your properties? I think I was so stupid making such decision. The boy is into narcotics. Hmm. Worse still, he's a spendthrift. Never think of picking a job. And I'm not at home with such kind of uh, attitude. Ah, no one would be, no one would be. So, what do you want to do? Change the wheel again? Hmm. Initially, that was what I had in mind. To change the wheel and um, disinherit him from my properties. But then, one of my minds is telling me that something is not right. So what do you want to do? You know, I just need a kind of um, a care in a circle. Okay. Putting him like a tree in a banana peel. See, who will match it? Yeah. 
that will work. That will work, Chief. Yes. Mm. I, I just want to see if he will have a change of mind. Not a bad idea, if you ask me. Not a bad idea. Why was I summoned this cool evening? Why? You need to see the kind of sweet sleep I was having. I'm here now. What is it you want to talk about? Obiora, I summoned everyone here because of uh, an important thing I want us to discuss as family. So sit down. I'd rather stand. So that this meeting can be very brief. Let me go back to sleep. Oh, suit yourself. Huh? I call this meeting because of the uh, recent squabbles that I'm experiencing in my house. And Obiora, you are the architect of them all. I'm not comfortable with it. I need it to stop. To stop what? You need me to stop what? You need to tell them to stop insulting me. And you're telling me to, stop, to, to, to do what? To stop what? Tell this... People you call family, tell them to respect me. I'm your first issue. Let me finish. Okay. Go on. Mm. I'm saying this because I'll be traveling for a business trip and I'll be away for one week. I wouldn't want to return and meet my home in Panama. I hope this is clear. Uh -huh. I think you're the one causing the problem here, Papa. Oh, Bior, I hope this is clear. I said you're the one causing the problem here. Just this little thing. Do they understand what is pen, 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 pendomon or what did you call it? Do you understand pendomon? Do you understand pendomon? Speak to them in the language they understand. Let them stop insulting me. Let them respect me. I'm your first child, your first issue. The heir apparent to this everything. Ah, this little thing. Pen, pen, pen. Do you all understand? You will not talk now. Look at them. They are all looking at me. Talk. Break this thing down in, in, the, in, the, in the way they will understand. Very simple. Respect him. He's the first child of this family. Respect him. Point to all of them and tell them, respect me. You're, you're saying pen, 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 the mono. Say what you understand. Well, if you act according to your age, you will not be begging for respect. Exactly. Don't you think so? Oh, this one just happened in front Enough of Enough of this. This one just happened in front Enough! of Enough! Okay, now go back to your bed. So you should go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say respect. Am I part of the people that should respect? Respect me, auntie. Very simple thing. Respect me, you. Respect me, you Respect me. Red wedding gown. Respect me. I don't understand. It's difficult for you. For, don't you see the way my father is respecting me? Look at the way he said, please, go back to the hair. That's how you all should be respecting me. Teach them. Very simple thing. Say, pen, 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 pen. In the course of all these things, though, tell them very simple English. Very, very simple. There's no... Hey, you. He's your senior. Respect him. Hey, this one. Hey, he's your senior. Respect him. Then this. Uh, <laughs> to Tell her to respect me. I remind her. Yeah, respect him, mad man. That I'm actually surprised. Um, I'm surprised you give birth to that, that madman. You're traveling. No, really. I'm not, I, I, I'm not aware until now. So I don't matter anymore. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. So that means I don't even know who I married anymore. Listen, honey, don't reason that way. Ha! This is just an emergency. I, I, I got the call this evening. I see. Listen to me, I, I'm just traveling for a week. I, I will return before you know it, before you start mixing me. I'll, 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 I'll come back. So how do I be, begin to handle this, your... Uh, Hooligans, this is your rascally son. Listen to me. 
on the, on the, before you come back. How do I begin to handle that hooligan? I promise you this. If I return from my trip, everything is going to be all right. This I, 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 I already have a plan in motion with my lawyer. He is already there. I'll fix this before you know it. This is what you keep saying, yet things keep getting worse. It's me. Calm down, I will fix it. This is me telling you to calm down. I'll fix it. It's not, it's not as if oh, I, oh, oh, oh. I don't have anything oh. against him. I wish he were better. You are worrying your head too much. That's the way it is. I'm supposed to... Ah, uh, Machi. What are you? Dad. You know, I trust you so much. Thank you, Dad. Um, I want you to take care of your mother and your sister. And um, be careful not to pick a quarrel with your beard, okay? I'll try my best, Dad. I'll do as you said. I trust you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Dad. All right. I love you. Safe trip. <laughs> I love you. Oh. I love you too. Daddy. Yes. Don't forget to buy me something when I come in. Ah, why would I do that? I miss you. I miss you too. I'll get you a surprise <laughs> gift when I come back. Thank you, Daddy. All right. Let me run along. Daniel, run along. Time. It is my dad. How? When? No, tell me this is not true. This can get out of Mother, what is it? Mother, what, what is wrong with you? What is it? They have succeeded against me. They have succeeded against me. They have succeeded against me. Talk to me. What are you saying? Talk to me. Mother. What is it? Talk to me. God, please, I beg you. Mother, come, come, come. Come, come, please. You're scaring me. Just come. What is it? My name is a word against me. What happened? Just. Tell me what happened. I think it's my only joy, my only source of happiness. Okay, so. mommy. Mother, please try and explain to me. I'm not understanding you. <laughs> if I were. Ma? <laughs> your, your father is dead. Sorry. <laughs> my father is what? Your father is dead. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Ah, no, no. Ah! <laughs> 
Baby. 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 Yeah, daddy. Baby. Yeah, daddy. Now, what's your problem now, hmm? Is this side not enough for you to stay? Or sit? Put all the chairs inside. You choose to stay. Huh? Well, if I'm talking to you now, with all the chairs inside, you choose to come sit on the floor. What happened? Uh, okay. You left this house since yesterday. And you're just coming back today. Why can't you be responsible for what? Why can't you be useful to yourself for what? I want to understand something. There are chairs in this house, plenty of them. Why did you guys choose to sit on the floor? Why do you choose to sit on the floor? Maybe they are rehearsing for a play. What do you think? I think so too. What play are you rehearsing? Hmm? Your father is dead. Hmm? When you were out there confronting with your women, your father had a plane crash and died. Are you happy? <laughs> Leave my house. Not before I close this eyes and open it, you out of my compound now. But I, I came here with him. My mother is talking to you. Get out! Honey, won't you say something? Tell her I'm here with you. <sighs> Get out! Hey, hey. I say go! Hey, hey, hey. No need to be rude about it, okay? Don't have to be rude. Get out! You know what? I'm leaving. Okay, just save it, save it. She's going to open that gate and never, never open this gate for this to be getting there. Aha, thank you. Um, you were saying something. We need to talk. I know it's a hard time for you. It's a hard time for everyone else in this family, but majorly it's a hard time for me. I think I'm the one who is supposed to be crying more here because I barely spent time with him before he died. I mean, I've not felt my own father. But what are we going to do? I mean, it's... It's only time for us to put heads together, you know, come together as one big family, forge ahead. I think that's the best thing to do. What are you talking about? Well, tell me, what are you talking about? What exactly do you mean by what I'm talking about? I just spoke English. It's, it's very clear. I mean, all I'm saying is that my father is gone. I mean, we can take back the hands of time. What we should think about right now is how to share the properties amicably, you know, everyone gets his own share and goes separate ways. Are you okay? Obiara, are you okay? Do you have shame in you? Uh-huh. My husband barely died. Uh-huh. And yet you are thinking about sharing properties. Uh-huh. Is that sense in your head? Listen and listen good, Obiara. Nothing will be shared out to do how Until we have what? No, go ahead. Until we have what? Until he's been buried? Is that what you're about to say? What do you want to bury? Well, let's even start from there. What do you want to bury? What exactly do you want to bury? A part of the plane that crashed? Or the sand where the plane crashed? What exactly do you want to bury? Listen, I understand all those tricks you're, kind, you're trying to play. I mean, let this property be shared amicably. I remember, my mother is part of this family. She would also have her own share. So I don't know why you're crying over a spilled milk. I don't know why, I don't know what you're doing, but if you have nothing to say, I mean, if you're not going to push, if you're not going to start to do things right, I'll remind you that I'm the man of this family. So whatever I say, stands. Do we have an understanding? Thank you. And 
I just wanna live my life the way I want it. I just wanna flex myself. Live today, forget tomorrow. tomorrow. But someday, just one day, everything will be made known. So fair, this is so fair. Oh, this is so fair. Yeah, put me that person again. Uh-uh. What did you do that fun? Why did you waste time to open this door? You kept me under the sun. Are you stupid? I'm sorry. Don't worry. I will ask my son to change you. Sorry, ma'am. Idiot. I'm sorry, so sorry. What are you doing? Is that how you move great people that came to offer you condolences? I don't need your condolences. Neither do I need your sympathy. So I'm here leave. to sympathize with you. Did you hear what I said? I said earlier, I do not need your condolences, neither your sympathy. If you don't need my sympathy, allow me to go in and sympathize with my son. Leave my house now. Whose house? My house. Your house. Yes, of course. <laughs> you better wake up from that dream. This house belongs to Ezendo and my son. Obiora is the rightful owner of this house now. So you don't have the right to send me out. If you don't take care, eh? You are the one to leave. Nonsense. Shift out the way. My food today because I've been long you ate this amount of food. I'm in good mood today. I'm in a very good mood. My plan is falling into place. In Things are happening. Thank and you. everything I've been planning for mm, is working according to. What are you talking about? I hate my own as well. yeah. Why are you always in good Steve to know everything? Well, eh? I'm your wife. Why don't you... Well, that reminds me. I'll be going to the city tomorrow. I received you that the head and the bed. Eh? You see? Why are you shouting in my ear? Hey! What can I think of? Hello, man. You want to go to that attack? What is all this? Brother Zendu is there. Uh, Mama is there. Hey! Patricia, who do you more? So she's not a widow. Hey! Hey! God have mercy! God have mercy! Hey! Hey! Yeah, what is your problem? Ezendo, good man. Ezendo, bad man. He was a good man. He was a bad Ezendo man. Hey! 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 Listen, listen to me. Hey! I don't want all this shout in here. Let people not gather here and begin to look at this something happen. Listen, hey. everything that Ezendo denied me, this is right. Hey! Hey! Time for me to get them. Ezendo, I so Ezendu Amuru! Get out of here! Ezendu! Patricia! 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 Hey! What is wrong with this woman? Hey! Sangareta! This bottle of wine. This wine. It's better than all the local beer we drink in the village. I can remember in those days, I used to tell my brother, your husband, husband, to buy one carton of it whenever he wants to visit me in the village. But he never did. I would have used it to boast in the village. Boast everybody. Oh! <laughs> hey! Mm. Oh, Maka. <laughs> <laughs> um, you say you wanted us to, to discuss something. What is it? Yes, I actually sent for you to come so that I can tell you what is happening in the house. It's about my late husband's son. 
Obiora. Obiora? Yes. What about him? Is he dead too? No. God forbid that I should wish him dead. Mm -hmm. It's not that. It's just that since we got the news of my husband's death, he has been talking about dividing the properties. And I believe it's too early. I just want you to talk to him, please. Tell him the true position of things. I don't understand. You want me to talk to him? And tell him what? Tell him it is still very early to begin to talk about inheritance and property division. Or don't you think so? I think your husband's son is right on this one. He's right. Yes. It's long overdue. That's what you have done for long. If it is in the village, we would have done the necessary things by now. Are you really saying you support everything he's saying and doing? Listen, woman. What I'm trying to say is that this is no more all about you. You're a woman. Tomorrow you can decide to remarry. Yes. But your husband has sons and they may, some real male relative like me. We want to know where we belong. We want to know what we are getting from all this. So the earlier you quicken things so that all these things will be settled, the better for all of us. Yes. Mm. Because tell them to bring more wine for me. This but one if is we wait till you stand to get no Oh God, wait till be a problem. But look at no wire. Nezia, you catch on one now. I'm one day and Nezia. So Nyak went over the joy. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Good day, Barista. Yes. Okay. But before I proceed, I want to, I would like to offer my unalloyed condolences to this family. Is there anyone who knows Chief, knows he's a man of honor, dignity and respect, who will be missed by all. I pray and hope his legacy will be carried out by this family. Amen. And we will carry on with his legacy. His legacy? Oh, okay, is guys, is, is this why you came here? To tell us about our father's legacy? Do you know our father better than we do? Oh, okay, guys, read, 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 read. We let's know, let's know what we, are, we all are left with. That's the most important thing right now. I wonder. Uh, you want to teach us how to, how to mourn our father? Well, uh, um, <clears throat> in front of me here, uh, the last will and testament of Chief Ezendu Onosigo was written and signed by him. Now listen to the will of Chief Ezendu Onosigo. You speak to me. Just read. My dear family, if you're listening to this letter right now, then it means I'm no longer with you. To my darling wife, Patricia, you have been my backbone all through the years, and I have never regretted a single moment of my life with you. You gave me two beautiful children, and always look at them with the utmost pride. I have nothing to say or to give you because I know you are not bothered about all these. All I ask is that you please find happiness in whatever you do. To my darling daughter Ifoma, you have everything a father could wish for a daughter. I'm sorry I couldn't stay longer with you, but I'm always watching over you from where I am. I have nothing to give you because you will soon be living to build your own home with someone else. To my first son, Obiora, I might not have known you existed, but I can never disregard the fact that you are my son. If your attitude is a reflection of the pain and anger you feel inside you because of the negligence towards you, I am deeply sorry to you. 
And to you, Obiora, I leave you in charge of all the estate and offices. But you can only assess them when you show a true change of heart and attitude. The yeah. barrister will be there to ensure that, lastly, my son, Wachi, I have always thought you were the only son until Obiora resurfaced. Please forgive your father for putting you in such a complex situation. But also try to make sure you stay in peace with your brother. I believe you're mature enough to do the right thing. To you, I leave the house you presently live in. All the bank accounts and lands. These are my final wishes and I hope you respect them and honor me. I love you all. But uh, there is no love here. Shut up your mouth. What, what, what do you mean by that? To him, I leave the house and all the bank, uh, uh, bank accounts and all the companies, then my own pending on hold. So you see what? My, my attitude changed and then you are going to be in charge. What's going on here? Huh? The instruction was given by your dad. By your dead person. While he was alive. Will you shut up your mouth then? Will you, will you just, if you say that to me again, that, uh, Barista, don't provoke me. What do you mean by that? That you will be inspecting my character, you, Barista. Oh, you are no, 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 tell me, Chirigo, I'm not done. No, 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 no. No, wait, wait, wait. What are, what are you talking about? No, I want to understand. What are you talking about? As I am now, I don't have anything. Uh, well, this is the will. A, a dead. My father is dead. Listen, listen, listen. My father is dead. Now you are evil, man. By right, everything belongs to the first son. The first child. What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. He's right. You're right. Told me that you're dead. What do you mean? My father is a lesbian in the church. That's the way it should be done. Of course. What's, what's, what's all this? A uh, barrister. Can you go to me? Are you sure you read everything inside? I'm not sure. Maka, I know my father. You don't hear my name there. Or are you trying to tell me that I or the fair? My brother, elder brother, did not leave anything for me. No, were you expecting him to will something to you? Why not? Are you his direct show? Child, even me, his first love, the woman that gave him for some, he didn't even leave anything for me. A house or a car. Oh, is that why he came? Mm -hmm. That's what I know. Let go to Mercy Shield. Yeah. Wait, I want to understand so what is going on here. You're not talking. Barista. Please, thank, you thank, thank you so very much. much for taking your time to come. Read this will to us. I'm we truly you. appreciate your time. God bless you. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. God, God, thank, God, thank you, thank you, and God, and, and God bless you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is this, is this my father's will? Exactly. It's not exactly. I'm asking you a question. Is this my yes or no? Can I? You can ask me exactly. Is this my father's will? Barrister, if you don't mind, I would like to see you off. Look who's standing. You look who's standing. Now, what, what are you saying? You like to see you off. You like the Barista, let me see you off. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Barista, come let me see you off. Since all this may see you off now. Come let me see you off. Can we be mature, please? Match up, yeah. Can we be mature, please? See you off. I was about to see you. I'm, uh, me, I want to see you off now. You're on about. Can you apply some mm -hmm. decorum here? Barista, can you stop this? Mama Gorana. I said stop this. Mama Gorana. Barista, let's go. Barista, let's go. Let's go. Eh? Stop this. Obira, what are you doing? No, no Barista, let me see you off. Huh? This way. Yeah, 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 he said he's the new boss, and the office now belongs to him. I only kept quiet because I didn't want to lose my face before my staff. But when Obira comes back, I'm going to show him that my silence was not cowardice. I swear to God, I will. Honestly, Obiola's will is coming too much. What was wrong with that guy? Shut up. What do you know? Fool. My son, come. You will not stop low to his level. Simply because a madman decides to chase you does not mean you will chase the madman back. Because people begin, begin to think you are swell mad. I don't care anymore, mom. I don't care.
Today I'm going to be madder than that madman. My son, you will care. Because you're my son. What would your father say if he were to be here? Go upstairs, calm yourself down. I will personally speak to Obiara when he comes back. What's the point, ma'am? He doesn't listen to anyone. It, it, would, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to try. I'll talk to him. I will. Just calm down. It was good. You didn't, you, you didn't fight back. It was very good. It's okay. Go upstairs. 